Hello and welcome to another update video about Ethereum. So Ethereum, just a little bit of a concern, not, not a major concern, but um, just sort of the depth and the length of this retracement is just something that we need to keep a close eye on. Yeah, um, we are still holding above the key support level. So I'm just going to put it actually onto the chart as a colored support area now. Um, we just, I need to start from here because I told you in previous videos, we must not drop below the $1,600 level. Well, if we do, well, we can, of course, you know, but if we do, then I would not count this current decline as a way for anymore. So we are currently holding this level. Yeah, this is the $1,600 level, the 0.5% retracement um, or the 50% retracement, right? So we must not drop below this in a way for technically, I mean, purely looking at the Elliott Wave rules and everything, a wave four can go lower, you know? There's nothing in the rules that says a wave four couldn't go down to the 61.8 retracement, you know, as long as it holds above the wave one high. So we could technically, without invalidating the wave four, we could technically um, come to the 1560 level. Only below that, it would technically invalidate a wave four. But to be honest, if we get there, I will probably count this as a one, two, one, two. Um, because it is unusual that a wave four would come down that much. It usually doesn't happen. I mean, in in all the also in, in you know in all the months that I've now done videos here about um, cryptos, I think I might have only had once a <clears throat> wave four that retraced more than the fifty percent. So yeah, it it doesn't usually happen. Um, here we are now in the absolute key decision pivot area. You know, inflection point where we'll see a decision. And you could call this, you know, a bull flag. And to be fair, a way four that is long and deep, or at least long, yeah, also sideways and um, boring. You know, you you get that very often, also in crypto. Yeah, you we we don't like way fours, so it is actually a good indication that it is a way four. And also the decline looks actually fairly corrective. So f at the moment there is nothing telling me that this wouldn't um be a way for right but it's just sort of the if you compare it to the the overall development of this chart here i would have liked to see this way for already end here where i've got now the wave a labeled which was at um 1610 and then it already looked like we were moving up but we only had three waves and now we're coming down but as long as we're holding the 1600 dollar level it's all fine also a, a wick below it wouldn't necessarily be a, a worry um but it's now something to pay attention to. <clears throat> Very important. Early sign of a breakout to the upside would be a break of the um, wedge, of course, to the upside, right? So we need that. Uh, that would be a first early indication. Then I think the previous swing high, taking that out at around 1640, would be further confirmation that we are starting the wave five to the upside. And then confirmation will be a move above the wave three high here at 1675. And then I think we can rally into the region of 1740 to 1800 to finally finish this wave one, yeah? So at the moment, um, no reason really to worry. It's just the depth of the retracement and you know, it's, it needs to start to move now, really. It needs to start to move now. Um, and if it does, it will probably fall back into the support region here. We'll probably find some support around the 1570 area. Um, and then we will then have a chance to reset this wave four, should we really go lower? Yeah, because then I would count probably all this as just an A overshooting wave B and we come down in the C wave of this larger wave four and we'll then restart the wave five to the upside from lower. Yeah, um, this is sort of my view. Only if we go below this area, which goes down to 1460, then we are looking at an even deeper retracement into this area. So basically we would, we've got three scenarios here on the chart with three different pullback areas. Ideally, we're holding the first one. If we don't, then we go into this one. And if we do not hold that, then we'll fall back into this area. And that would tell us that we're already in this deeper wave two correction, that we've already completed the wave one to the upside. And they are all bullish scenarios. There's currently no bearish scenario as long as we're holding above the 1000 US dollar level. All of these are part of the breakout scenario to the upside, okay? And that's sort of where we are at the moment for Ethereum. Um, generally, one more thing to mention here is that we are currently already seeing on the daily chart, um, if I make it a bit larger, on the relative strength index, a slight, well, bearish divergency. We're making lower highs on the RSI and higher highs on the price. So it is just something to keep an eye on. 
and just indicates that this rally is probably coming to an end. The market can hold that for a while, but it's just something that, again, you know, it just shows that we've probably seen the most already of this move to the upside. We've seen most of it. Now, one more thing to mention, actually. Um, one hour chart, let's go to the one hour chart. Let's see what actually happens. Can I do something with this trend line? Well, th this might be something, yeah. So we can draw that, let's see if it actually does something. There's different ways of drawing this trend line. Unfortunately, it's subjective, right? Um, we could leave it like that. We've got touch points here, we've got touch points here. So I leave that trend line and what I wouldn't be surprised about if we see a bit of sideways movement, maybe go a little bit below 1600, find support here at the trend line, and then push to the upside. It's just a possibility, a strong possibility because there's likely going to be some support there where the trend line is. Okay, that's my update about Ethereum. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.